Hello everybody, Jolly Juice here, bringing you a new video. And today I will be talking about how to use your Elgato Game Capture HD60 to record your Mac video and the game audio. I've tried to work on this myself for quite a long time. I watched other people's YouTube videos and I just could not figure it out. The first thing that you want to do is you want to get your Elgato HD60 and you want to connect an HDMI cable from your HDMI in on the HD60 to the HDMI slot on your Mac. Or if you don't have an HDMI slot, you need to get a mini display port to HDMI adapter. Um, the second thing you want to do is you want to plug in the USB that came with your HD60 and then you want to connect that to your Mac. Once you have that all set up, you want to check this little screen icon and you want to make sure that Mirror Elgato is checked. Yeah, you just want to make sure that's checked. Um, I'm running El Capitan uh, 10.11. I know on other versions of the operating system this might be a little bit different. Um, but it's pretty much the same thing. You, there should be something down here on other versions that just say um, Mirror this screen. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to click the spotlight search and type in Audi and then the first thing will come up is Hijack Pro but I don't want that. You want the MIDI setup so um, it's better if you just type in MIDI and that's the first thing that should pop up. I already have it down on here on my hotbar just in case I need to go there quicker in the future. So double click that. I already have the multi-output device set up. But if you want to make a new one, you press this plus here and create a new multi-output device. What that does is it sets it up right here. So I'm going to delete this one and go to my other one. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that I'm using the Razer Kraken. I also have the Astro Gaming, but right now I'm using the Razer Kraken. You want to make sure that's checked. If you don't have a headset, only these two will be checked. But you want to make sure this one's checked, HDMI is checked, and built-in output is checked. And make sure that the master device is HDMI. I've seen other YouTube videos put uh, 44 or 100 hertz as their setting, but I kept mine on 4800 and it's completely fine. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to click this little arrow right here and just make sure that everything is in the 48,000 hertz. So once you have that done, you should make sure that your multi-output device is set as the default sound output. I did not do this before and it did not capture any audio for me. So I'm pretty sure that this is what you need to make sure that you can capture your game audio. So make sure that you use this device as your default sound output. I have the Razer Kraken set up to play the alerts and sound effects it doesn't really matter because this is you know it it's it you can still see uh, hear the sound in your headphones and then i'm using a blue snowball as my input so after that's done you want to bring up your game capture screen which i am bringing up now and i have my audio input as my my snowball mic and if I look at my settings, I just have it on PlayStation 4. Everything else is the same, um, even audio. I did not change anything inside of the actual capture software. You do want to mute this. Um, I think if you don't have it muted, it will just do this repeating, uh, repeating noise all the time. And it's very, very annoying. So just to test it out, uh, I will bring up... Minecraft. Okay, so here we are in Minecraft. And just to make sure that we... Wow, this is a terrible world. Um, just to make sure that we are getting audio from the game you want to 
click around in the menus and just make sure that this game audio is actually receiving some sort of input. So you can just click around on some buttons, turn up the music if you want. So let's try it right now. So as you can see, I am getting game audio, I am recording the screen, I can even plop it in full screen if I want to, and everything is working as it should be working. So that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it helped people out, and I hope you can check my other videos out on my channel, and look forward to new videos that I will be posting soon. Later.